Hey, I'm excited. I made a little time today to DIY. Basically, I need to refill a whole bunch of the stuff that we use all the time. So come join me and you can see how easy it is. And the cool thing is, you know exactly what you're putting in and on your body when you make your own products. So here we go. First thing is my husband um, has a face serum he uses every night. I'm thankful that he takes care of his skin. So I reuse a lavender bottle here and Young Living sells these roller tops. And so I'm gonna make it like a roller bottle. So these, um, I picked six oils to um, really target his needs. I'm putting geranium to, uh, um, to help with even, even out his uh, skin tone, sacred frankincense, or you can use frankincense for sunspots, and age-induced pigmentation, and it really helps um, with new cell regeneration. And then I'm gonna put lemon just to brighten complexion and help against free radicals. I'm gonna put copaiba, because it um, helps um, regenerate collagen, and it is a magnifier, so it magnifies the other oils in this mix. And then Roman chamomile, because it really just helps any problematic skin. And finally, lavender, because you always need lavender. It's so great for your skin, and it reduces redness because he has some redness. Okay, so basically, I haven't really thought about this. I think I'm gonna do like five drops of each. Here's the lavender. Maybe seven. <laughs> Why not? We not want it nice and strong for him. Here's the Roman chamomile. Seven-ish. And copaiba. One, two, it's a little thicker. And lemon. Now because I'm adding lemon, I'm gonna make sure he only puts this on at night because it's photosensitive and it can give him a sunburn. And finally, sacred frankincense. All right, mm, these are all gonna smell so good. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, perfect. And then I'm gonna just top it off with a carrier oil. And I forgot my jojoba oil. So it's like up to oils with here. So the rest I'm gonna fill with the carrier oil and top that. But since I forgot that right now, I'm gonna hold off on that. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna make is I need to refill my body wash. So I like to use these little containers. So in case it um, falls, it doesn't, <laughs> something glass doesn't break in the shower. And then I use Young Living's bath and shower gel base. So it has no scent. And um, I don't really measure. I just put, I don't fill the whole thing up. Maybe like fourth of a cup I'm thinking. A little bit more. And then I'm gonna choose whatever essential oils I want. So today, my favorite is geranium and citrus fresh. Oh, and that reminds me, mm, I love geranium. I forgot to put that in my husband's face serum, so I'm gonna put those seven drops. I knew I missed one. Okay, and it's kind of good to let these oils um, like synergize anyway, since I didn't put the carrier oil yet. So, super, super easy now, face uh, body wash. Um, geranium just smells like spring to me. Oh, and sometimes this happens. I could tell there's a lot left in here, but I'm gonna pop off that orb part and now it's like a huge hole so be careful i have to go carefully so it won't um come out one two three four five six seven that's probably good i do like it strong and this is really good for my skin next citrus fresh let's put like seven drops in there geranium's kind of sweet so i like um kind of cutting that sweet smell with um, citrus oil. It smells so good. Now, the next thing I do is get distilled water. Here we go. And fill the rest up. And then I'm using this foaming hand um, dispenser so it works perfect. Okay, so that's two of my DIYs for the bathroom. Another thing is I need to refill some hand soap. So sometimes I buy Young Living's um, already made hand soap and other times I just DIY it and that's what I'm gonna do today. So this is the pre-made hand soap bottle and I'm just gonna kind of keep reusing that. There's a little bit left. 
I'm trying to remember what scent I made last time. It doesn't really matter. So this is gonna be for actually my husband's sink. So let's, the first thing I do is put two tablespoons of plain um, Castile soap unscented. I can kind of just eyeball it because, oops. For some reason I couldn't get that. I kind of eyeball it because I've done this so many times. Then I put a drop of vitamin E oil and this helps with moisturizing and also kind of like helps against um, bacterial growth. And then I need a carrier oil and just a couple squirts in there, like a tablespoon if you wanted a recipe. Then I get to pick which oils to put in there. Okay, so I know he likes citrusy stuff. I'm gonna put citrus fresh like about seven or eight because it smells fresh and then i'm gonna put like one drop oh eucalyptus that kind of reminds me of mm, um two drops of eucalyptus and he loves cedar wood so several drops of cedar wood it's kind of fun because you just make up your own you know what you need your own scent and then top it off with this is um distilled water and you always want to make sure you leave room for the top where it spills over, right? <laughs> so it's like up to kind of here. All right. There we go. Third DIY done. I forgot. I do have another one for the bathroom. My husband needs, um, I make a aftershave kind of gel that's soothing and cool. So what I do, excuse me, is I have this little like booklet that I keep all my recipes in because I've done DIYs before and then I totally forgot what the recipe was. And I loved it and then I couldn't find it. So always put it in there. I'm gonna put my skin serum recipe in here too. So this is my aftershave recipe. Um, I use four drops cedar wood and I'm gonna use a little funnel here. Oops for when I put the other ingredients. Four drops of cedar wood. These are all great oils for the skin. And cedar wood's kind of a thicker viscosity, so it takes a long time to come out. Two drops of frankincense. I just love frankincense, I have to smell that. Oops, gonna give him three. It's gonna be good on his skin. Three drops of peppermint. So he likes it a little bit spicy, you know, like that tingling, so. Um, we played around with this recipe and he liked, I also, um, I increased it from one to three. And then you, one drop eucalyptus. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna swirl that around, let it synergize. Now I'm gonna put one and a half teaspoons witch hazel. I gotta get my um, teaspoons and tablespoons. I thought I had everything ready. Okay, so tablespoon. We need one and a half witch hazel. So I like this brand and I please make sure it's unscented. You don't want any fake scents in there or synthetic that you don't really know what it is. All right. And just gonna eyeball a half. Yeah, one and a half tablespoons. And then a tablespoon aloe vera. I've been liking this brand because it's um, almost all natural. Mm, not really any additives in there. And you don't have to refrigerate it. Some I found you did. Okay, then I'm gonna put some, a carrier oil, a half tablespoon almond oil, and a half tablespoon jojoba. And I think I forgot my jojoba from around here. I don't have almond oil right now, so I'm gonna use grapeseed oil. So these uh, jojoba and grapeseed oil, a half tablespoon, I have all that, are both carrier oil, oils, and you can research the different kind you have for like the, your different skin types. And there's lots of things for that, um, for every type. There, so I have to grab my jojoba oil in the pantry, I'll get that later, but this is almost done. And it really didn't make it all the way to the top, but we like this. And my husband likes a, a little flip top kind of thing that needs to be cleaned out. <laughs> okay, there we go. Next, so easy peasy, my spring cleaning must have 
cleaning really everything in the house. And that's my thieves household cleaner. So basically all I need to do is get my thieves household cleaner. It's so fast. I just wanted to show you how fast it is to refill. This concentrate lasts like six to nine months, maybe 12 months. I've been doing a lot of cleaning lately, so it's probably gonna be like six months. So one capful in there, and then this is about three cups of water, I believe in this um, jar. Or I'm just gonna fill it up with distilled water, and I have my um, cleaner. The cool thing is you can do so much with it. <laughs> and that's like a whole nother video. But sometimes I make it stronger for like degreasing. And sometimes I put, um, make it, put more water with one capful for glass and mirrors. And then I love also putting it straight concentrate with baking soda to make like a really nice scrub. Um, like a, even adding some lemon that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this extra lemony because it's spring and just lemon reminds me of spring. I'm gonna put 10 drops of lemon. Like every time I do spring cleaning, it's like lemon come to the rescue. Sticky stuff, grease, um, cleaning the walls, all that stuff. So I'm gonna top it off with a little bit more water. So it's gonna be extra lemony. So that's my cleaner for everything. I use this, my microfiber fiber cloth for all spring cleaning. Okay, and did I do all my DIYs? I made my soap. Let's review. <laughs> Hand soap, body wash, my husband's aftershave that's missing the jojoba oil, and I did his face serum roller and I think that's it so that's my DIYing for today hey thanks for joining me and those are some of the things we use all the time and I just quickly refill it up um, so let me know if you need to get some oils um, or have questions or want recipes for DIYs I'm here for you have a great evening